been to Baton Rouge and played games there. Uh, how would you describe some of the younger guys who have yet to play a game there? Oh, Alex Box, awesome, awesome atmosphere down there. Um, I'd say it's probably the second or third um, best college stadium in mm -hmm. college baseball. Um, you know, the experience down there last year was just absolutely amazing. It kind of, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand with their the rowdy crowd and, you know, the way their stadium set up and everything kind of allows them to have a little bit of craziness down there in Baton Rouge. So. What is it, what is it mean for you to be on Team USA? I know that's a, that's a pretty oh. big honor and it hadn't been once since Adam Frazier. I mean, I don't even know how to put it into words. I'm just honored and just excited to be out there with the best, you know, collegiate players in the, in the nation. Um, I feel like um, – I mean, I, don't, I really don't even know what to say. Honestly, I'm just overwhelmed with the opportunity, and I feel like um, it's going to be a good uh, experience for me. Um, I'm just tremendously honored. When did you get that invite? Um, actually, I got told, what was it, the day after I pitched against USC, uh, Coach Kenzera announced it's the team. Um, but he said that they knew a couple a couple days before that, and I, I mean, they announced the team right after USC. So it didn't take much thought to accept it? Oh no! Heck no! I mean, you get something like that, and you're, I mean, it's you're going. I mean, you're not gonna sit there and hesitate or anything like that. I mean, it's an honor just to put on USA. So you guys have obviously had some adversity this year, most recently this last weekend, overcome it and things. We, we've dealt with Andy a lot and seen his personality, and it just seems always upbeat and things. It, it, it's can you just kind of describe what he's been like through all the, the ups and downs that this team's gone through this year? Well, we've worked together. You know, he's worked with us. We've worked with him. Um, you know, with all the injuries and all the the stuff that's been happening off the field and with the team and everything, how short it is, how short-handed we are pitching-wise, um, I feel like Coach is going to tell me he's handling it really well, um, being a first-year coach. Um, I love him to death, and I know he really pours his heart for his team. Um, there's been a lot of ups and downs, like I said, uh, but I feel like he's dealt with them really, really, really well and handled his business um, like my head coach. So. How, how has Josh Lovelady helped you as a pitcher the uh, last couple of years, especially this season when you actually been able to, to throw to him? Josh, I mean, that dude, he serves like a Marine in the service. Uh, catching games after games after games after games. He caught, what, five games in a row this weekend. Um, I mean, he, when he comes up to the mound, it's it's the same old it's the same old conversation. Hey man, you got it. You slow your heart rate down. You know he's the him being a senior and everything. Him being a vet in this league um, really helps me and really help. I feel like he helps like the uh, younger guys too, um, with like kind of talking them down and everything. He really he really uh, is smart about everything he does. He goes about his business like a man. Um, Josh is just and undivided like he just he serves our team really really well have you, he handles everybody differently like mm -hmm. catchers do have you ever seen him just chew some guy out because oh, it's yeah. the right time right oh, he'll, place? He'll, he'll let you know when you ain't doing something right when you you know you're yanking a fastball or, uh, I guess not scared mm -hmm. but if you're like pitching like you're scared or timid or anything he's gonna let you know I mean he's not he's not scared of anything and that's that's why I love behind the dish yeah. It's a pitcher on this team. What's it like to have a guy like Brent Rooker on your team? How oh. loud are you? You don't have to face him. <laughs> yeah, I mean Brent is. I mean he's awesome. Um, you know he's uh, he's got so many honors this year. You know he's the best player in the SEC. Um, I mean having somebody like that on your team is really huge for a team like we're having this year. You know, a young team, and then for somebody to come out like that and just have a standout year right before this draft too. Um, it's just, it's just awesome. As a, as a pitcher, what's the difference in him from last year to this year? Um, I feel like he's really grown up uh, swinging at the slider in the dirt. That's one. I mean, that's one of the major things I've uh, thought about from last, from his last mm -hmm. season and this season. I feel like last year every slider in the dirt you threw him, he'd swing over top of every single time. But now he's laying off of that, and then when they throw him, a, a, you know, a get me over slider for a strike, he's Boom, hit the four on the foot. You know, he's, he's really seen the ball really well this year. And you see that you guys keep using that prove the doubters wrong every game, you know, taking that underdog mentality. Do you, you take that again into this week? I mean, you're going to mm -hmm. a national seed. Yeah, I take it personally every single day. Uh, you know, I, I tweeted out after we won the regional, uh, the BPI uh, gave a 6.8% chance of winning that regional. 
I mean, everybody took that <coughs> part. Everybody took that personally. So, how do you approach this week now? It's the same way, you know, we got a lot. We got a lot going for us. Um, you know, we got a lot of uh, vengeance coming from um, LSU coming in here and sweeping us at home. So right. I feel like if we can go down there with enough heart and pride and overcome the crowd and everything, I feel like we can pull two how out. Do you, how do you attack their batting order now that you've seen them firsthand this season? Um, I, I got throw all three pitches for strikes. You know, I had a big, uh, I had a big problem with that the first time I faced them, even though I only gave up two runs. Couldn't throw my slider for a strike. Couldn't throw my changeup. So all I have was a fastball. You know, they're they're gonna hit the fastball. I mean, they can hit and they can hit and they can hit. And they're gonna hit a fastball no matter where you can put it on the plate. You gotta be able to throw all three pitches for strikes. Henderson said before the year you needed to be able to to be more effective outside of your fastball. How do you feel like you've developed those other pitches this season? I feel like I've developed them good. Um, change, I haven't thrown my changeup as much as I've wanted to this year. But that hasn't really stopped the fact that I can still move the fastball in and out, uh, throwing a slider for a strike when I need to now and throwing it in the dirt. When you get the Team USA stuff done, will you try to pitch other summer ball? Oh, uh, no. I'll, I'll, I'll shut it down for the, rest of the, for the rest of the summer and probably the first half of the fall. I don't really know. Honestly, uh, me and Coach Henderson hasn't really talked about it yet. Going back to Josh and what he does for everyone on the team, what was the reaction like when he bounced one off the banner and left? Oh. First home run last year, regional. I mean, that's I mean that right, that right there is just it's just crazy. He come he come back in the dugout just nuts. He come back. I mean, everybody was going crazy in the dugout. It was just awesome. We was all fired up for him. We was all pumped for him. We was proud of him, you know, for everything he does and um, for him to hit a home run off the whatever you want to call it, a little wall thing, a banner, or whatever, uh, was just awesome. What was it like watching Jacob Billingsley, a guy who's struggled to establish himself as a starter this year, to go out and give you all nine innings under that do or die pressure? So proud of him. Um, with him, you know, with him being a senior this year, I'm just absolutely just proud of him. You know, he's overcame a lot of uh, adversity with his pitches and everything this year, and I feel like he, he needed it. He was, I mean, he was due for that outing. So, what do you think was different about him recently? Um, him just, you know, going out there with the mindset that. He's the best. You know, you got as a pitcher, you guys go out there with, hey, I'm the best. You're not gonna beat me. I'm gonna beat you every single time. It doesn't even matter. It's like that. It's some mentality. Kind of, what's your familiarity with LSU players? Like, have you played in summer ball with them or anything like that? Yeah, the Jordan brothers. You know, uh, Bryce towards ACL, uh, both mm -hmm. still in the uh, lineup. But um, I mean, I love them both to death. Uh, I didn't really talk to any other other ones like Greg or. Uh, yeah. Kramer or anything like that, but I've, I've gotten really close to Bo and Bryce. You, Greg and Kramer, you played with them too? No, I haven't. Okay. I haven't. Uh, you still converse with the Jordan brothers? Like, oh, yeah. During the season and stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we text every now and then. Um, actually, they were really good. I just saw Grizzly. He just came in here. But, um, you know, we all played on the same summer ball team in the Cape last year. So, okay. uh, yeah, we kind of keep in touch. What's the talk like so far this week? Um, actually, I haven't. We haven't said anything about this week. I'll probably end up texting him. He'll end up texting me sometime before the game, and you know, I mean, I mean, we're not. We don't really talk a bunch of mess to each other or anything. We're just like, hey, go out there, compete, do your best. I mean, we, we're standing behind each other. So. I'm, I'm assuming when Andy was hired, there was some texting that went went on between y'all. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, you know, the whole the whole series is all texting back and forth. I saw him in Bulldog Burger. You know, I mean, you see him, and he just gives you the biggest grin. I gave him gave him a hug and everything, but um, it's gonna be it's gonna be really, really, really competitive between me and him and you know us and them this weekend. So.